Hey, this is Amber back with another Packet Tracer video. Today we're going to be doing Packet Tracer video 6.1.1.5, uh, which is configuring static and default routes. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the PCBO. Oops, one click, there we go. We're going to go into the desktop, into Command Prompt. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try ping 192.168.1.1 and let's see what happens. So it looks like that one works. Let's go ahead and do an IP config. So you'll see here our IP address, our subnet mask, and our default gateway. Let's go ahead and try to ping 192.168.2.1. You'll see here the destination host is unreachable. So let's go ahead and we're going to close out of this. And close out of this. We're going to go ahead and go to the PCPT. And let's look here. IP. Let's take a look here. So we've got this one here is an IP address 192.168.3.2, the subnet mask, the C class, and the default gateway. Which is actually a different gateway. So we're going to go ahead. some things in here. So let's do this. We're going to do a console cable from PC, the BOPC. So we're going to go from here. To the branch office router. cable and then we're going to do a console cable from the MOPC which is right here to the router in the main office there we go and then we are going to do a console cable from the router right here to the router main office. Where's our main office? There we go. We're going to make sure we click on the console cable. There we go. Console from here. And Cable. Let's click on that again. From the router partner net to the PCPN to here. Okay, so now we've got all our console cables in place. So let's go ahead and go over to PC that we started with. We're going to go into the desktop and then into the terminal so we can do a little configuration here. Let's try to ping 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 .10 .1. 
So it looks like we've got a success on that one. So ping 10.10.10.5. And we've got dots going, so it doesn't look like that one's going to work so well. So it looks like we were not successful on that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this real quick here. We're going to go into the magnifying glass. And we're going to click on the routers to show their routing table. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a 192.168. 1.0 and then we're going to 10.10.10.0 slash 30 on that router. So let's go look at this one here. We're going to look at the routing table here. Okay, this one here we've got the 10.10.10.0 slash 30 and a 10.10.10.4 slash 30 and here's our 192.168 one. 2.0. Okay. And then we're going to look at this one here. Let's see what the. So we've got this one here on a 10.10.10.4. And this one in the 3.0. So to the terminal, open that up. We're going to do an enable. We're going to do a conf t to configure. We're going to do an IP route of 0 dot, oops, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0, and then a 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0, and then our 10 dot, 10 dot, 10 dot, 1. We're going to start. We're going to go ahead and configure that. We're going to close this out and we're going to go over to the PNPC, which is, there we go, on the other end. We're, let's go into our CLI. Just wanted us to go in a different way. No big deal. We'll do a conf T. We'll do an IP route. Zero slash zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Zero dot zero. Ten dot ten. Oops. Ten dot five. do a copy run start. We'll let it build that configuration. We'll go ahead and close out of this. We're going to go over to our MOPC. We're going to go to the desktop and into our terminal on this one. And we're going to enable. We're going to do a conf t to configure. We're going to set an IP route on this one, 192.168.1.0, as you remember on the one that we accessed earlier. We'll do 55.0, your standard class C, and then we're going to do 10.10.10.
do a copy run start save things we're going to go ahead and close back into the magnifying glass so that we can take a look at the routing tables and what they look like now. 10.10.4 there's our 192.168.3.0 and you'll see the next hop here the 10.10.10.5 let's go into this one we'll take a look at that one as well there's our 10.10.4 there's our 2 and you'll see here the static. And then we'll take a look real quick at this one as well. You'll see here this one makes the jump as well. You should see, so all of those have the proper routes now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the back to the BOPC. Oh, let me go back in, select that. And we're going to go into this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to command prompt and we're going to try doing some pings to a couple different things. We're going to ping 192.168.2.2 and see if we get a reply. Timed out. Oh, well, it looks like. So we're going to ping it one more time just to make sure because it looks like we got some responses the second time around. 68.2.2 and you can see we're getting replies on all of them now and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a ping to 192.168.3.2 and let's see if we get a response there it's thinking about it once our request timed out but look it's replying now so if we ping it one more time, we should get a full response, and that means that our static and default routes are configured correctly. And there's our responses. And that completes another Packet Tracer video. Thanks for joining me.